scholars, it's Miss Black from Arte. How are you guys doing? Are you guys ready for another fun activity? Well, before we start our fun activity, I have a question for you. Do you know who Vincent Van Gogh is? Ben, if you said he was a painter, you are correct. But I wanna tell you a little bit more about Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh was born in Holland on March 30th, 1853. He didn't seriously start painting until he was 27 years old. At the age of 35, he decided to go to the south of France to find sunshine and bright colors. This is where he met Camille's family during this time, he painted over 150 paintings, but unfortunately, he only sold one in his lifetime. Today, I'm going to read you a story called Van Gogh and the Sunflowers by Lawrence Anholtz. Where Camille lived, sunflowers grew so high they looked like real suns. A whole field of burning yellow suns. Every day after school, Camille ran through the sunflowers to meet his father, who was a postman. Together they would lift down the heavy sacks of mail One day, a strange man arrived in Camille's town. He, he had a straw hat, a yellow beard, and a quick brown eyes. I am Vincent the painter, he said, smiling at Camille. Vincent came to live in the yellow house at the end of Camille Street. He had no money and no friends. Let's try and help him, said Camille's father. So they loaded a cart with pots and pans and furniture the, for the yellow house. Camille picked a huge bunch of sunflowers for the painter and put it in a big brown pot. Vincent was very pleased to have two good friends. Vincent asked Camille's father if he would like to have his picture painted, dressed in his best blue uniform. You must sit very still, said Vincent. Camille loved the bright colors Vincent used and the strong smell of paint. As Camille watched his father's face appear like magic on the canvas, the picture was strange but beautiful. Vincent said he would like to paint the whole family. Camille's mother, his big brother, his baby sister, and at last, Camille himself. Camille was very excited. He had never had his picture taken with a camera. Camille took his painting to school. He wanted everyone to see it, but the other children didn't like it. They all began to laugh. This made Camille feel very sad. After school, some of the older children started to tease Vincent. They ran be along behind him as he went out painting. Even the grown-ups joined in. It's time he got a real job, they said instead of painting with paints all day.
Camille sat for hours watching Vincent work. It was very hot, but Vincent worked fast. He painted the sunflower fields and even the sun itself. He is a sunflower man, said Camille to himself. But no matter how hard Vincent worked, he could never sell any of his paintings. If I had money, said Camille, I would buy them all. Thank you, my friend, said Vincent. One afternoon, as Camille and Vincent were coming back from the fields, some of the children from Camille's school were waiting. Camille wa wanted them to stop, but what could he do? He was only a small boy, and at last he ran home with tears. Listen, Camille, said his father. People often laugh at things that are different, but I've got a feeling that one day they will learn to love Vincent's paintings. That night, Camille had a strange dream. He saw Vincent standing in the moonlight, high above the town. Vincent had stuck candles on his hat so that he could see. The sunflower man, the sunflower man was painting the stars. Early the next morning, Camille was awakened by a loud knocking at the door. Some men from town had come to see his father. Listen, postman, they said, we want you to give this letter to your friend. It says he must pack up his paints and leave town. Camille slipped out through the back door. He ran down the street to the yellow house. It seemed very quiet inside. Then Camille saw the sunflowers he had picked for Vincent. They had all dried up and died. Camille felt sadder than ever. Vincent was upstairs packing his bags. He looked very tired, but he smiled at Camille. Don't be sad, he said. It's time for me to paint somewhere else now. Perhaps they will like my paintings there, but first I have something to show you. Vincent lifted, Vincent lifted down a big picture. There was Camille's sunflowers, bigger and brighter than ever. Camille looked at the painting then he smiled too. Goodbye, Sunflower Man, he whispered and ran out of the yellow house and into the sunshine. Camille's father was right. People did learn to love Vincent, learn to love Vincent's paintings. Today, you would have to have a lot of money if you wanted to buy one. But now people all over the world go to museums and galleries just to see Vincent's paintings. The yellow house of Camille and his family, and especially the picture of the sunflowers, so bright and yellow, they look like real suns. My craft today is to make sunflowers just like in the picture. This is what mine turned out like. And I want to show you, teach you how to do this. But if you don't have the materials like I do, that is okay. Because you can take white paper and you can color it and you can make your sunflower picture like this. So the materials you're going to need today are... You're going to need blue, yellow, 
green, brown, and orange construction paper. Scissors, glue, a pencil, tape if you want to have it. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your blue piece of paper and a yellow piece of paper. You can set your blue piece of paper aside. You're going to take your yellow piece of paper and you're going to fold it. You're going to take one side. You're going you're not going to fold it halfway. You're going to fold it about this much. And then you're going to cut it. And then you're going to glue it on your to your blue piece of paper. And there is our background for our sunflower picture. Now we're going to take this and set it aside while we work on our vase. Next, you'll get your orange and brown piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to take your scissors and cut it. You're going to take your orange and brown paper and put glue on one side of it and put the other paper on top. With your pencil, you're going to draw a vase onto your, your new paper. And then cut it out. And then I'm going to glue it onto my background. Then I am going to take my green paper, I'm going to fold it in half, and I am going to cut it, and then fold it in half again, and cut. And then I'm going to cut out strips for my stems. And then I'm going to glue them onto my vase. Now I'm going to set my picture aside. Now I'm going to grab my leftover yellow and I'm going to show you many ways of making sunflowers. With my first two, I'm going to need to cut out circles from my yellow paper. So I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in half just so I have enough circles. If you do not know how to cut out a circle by hand, you can just draw a big circle onto your paper and cut it out. I'm going to take one circle and I'm going to cut lines all the way around my circle. Get your brown paper. I'm going to fold it and fold it. This time you want to draw a little circle so it'll be the center of your sunflower. I ran out of glue, so I'm going to use some tape to tape it on. Then I'm going to set it aside. The next one, you're going to grab a circle and you're going to make triangles all the way around to kind of look like a sun. Then I'm going to put another brown circle. 
on top of it. For my last two circles, you're going to need your two brown circles. And then you're going to need a new piece of yellow construction paper. And then I'm going to cut strips. What you're going to do next is you're going to gather your yellow strips up. And you're going to fold them in half. Okay, set these aside. You're going to take one of your brown circles. You're going to take these strips, a little glue, and keep gluing around until it's completely done. Okay, and that's how it should look. Set it aside. Grab your other brown paper. This time you're not going to go all the way around, you're just going to go halfway. That's how that one looks. Now we're going to arrange our flowers on our picture. And there you have your sunflowers. I hoped you enjoyed recreating Vincent Van Gogh's sunflower picture. I know I enjoyed it. And I hope that you learned how to be a good friend from Camille as well. Leave me a picture of your sunflower uh, craft. I would love to see how it turned out for you. Have a good day. Bye.